Thank you, Kelly. New tonight at six this week marks 10 years since a woman was shot and killed while outside a party in the city of Buffalo and the person responsible for pulling the trigger still has not been caught. And our Claudine Ewing got the chance to speak with the family of Samantha Cothran about the pain of the last 10 years, as well as the police department about what they're doing to solve the case. Time waits for no one. What's life been like for 10 years? Hell, hell on wheels. It's been 5,349 days. And that was as of May 11th, 2022, the day Samantha would have turned 33. Her mom and others spent part of the day at the cemetery. To be robbed at 23 is like heartbreaking. Mother's Day 2012, Melissa Bosley got a call that Samantha had been shot. By the time I got to the scene, she was laying on the ground. They had a sheet over her. Her firstborn, her pride and joy, dead, leaving a family crushed. 10 years Friday. Something got to be done. Something has to change. Like we just want closure. That's it. It's not a lot to ask for, but I feel like after a decade, we need it. Samantha was at a party on Minnesota Avenue, never imagining that would be her last and her sister was with her. It was crowded. It was very, very crowded. And that's the only reason why we stepped outside because it was too hot and she wanted to get some air. She went to the car and then. And by the time I got to my front of my car, I just heard the four shots go off. Two shot, but Samantha died. It's like a horror movie that we have to literally keep playing over. There were vigils outside the crime scene, a funeral. This is not how it's supposed to be with mothers and fathers burying a daughter who was not a gangbanger, who was not selling drugs, who was not hurting anybody else. It's not a crime to want to go out and have a good time. This phenomenal woman whose time has passed, but will never be replaced. On Friday, May 13th, the 10 year anniversary of the shooting, the family is going to celebrate Samantha's life. We don't want the city to forget. We haven't forgot, so they shouldn't either. I'm glad that there's more publicity to this again. 10 years and a family is still waiting for answers. Is police on to anything? The unfortunate thing is no, there has been no new leads or developments in the case. You know, no case is over when you're talking about murder. Uh, we know that there are people out there that saw something, heard something, know something. Buffalo Police Commissioner Joe Grimalia says the cooperative witnesses couldn't give information on the shooter. Life circumstances change for some people. Maybe they're not involved in some things now that they might have been later, and a lot has changed in 10 years. And we ask those individuals to come forward. When the family feels you forgot us, the police department forgot us. You know, the tough part is, is that we follow every lead is wherever it takes us. And when the leads stop, you know, it's, there's, there's nothing more to follow up on at that point. And sometimes it's a waiting game for someone to come forward. And sometimes by way of another case, somebody might give us information that, that reinvigorates a case. And it's, uh, it's the sad truth of homicide cases, especially when they become cold cases. Samantha graduated from Fisk University and was about to start her new job as a pharmacist. The 2007 graduate of Narden quoted LeBron James, I'm not afraid of nothing. I just like the challenge and I like being here. Narden Academy is remembering Samantha Cothran. There is a scholarship named in her honor. It goes to a student who has that intellectual curiosity, someone who loves steam and has a unique personality. To the person who killed her, her family says, you had 10 years to walk, breathe, talk, be amongst your loved ones, and we had 10 years of emptiness. I just want her killer to come forward and pay for what you did. I mean, you took an innocent life. And a promising future. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News. Ooh, so powerful, so tragic, too, yeah, all around. And you think about how many people there were at that party that the house was yeah. so packed so people know things and maybe with time you know just as Grimalia said yeah. people feel comfortable giving information that they didn't at the time and there is no statute of limitations on murder That's so right. they're always willing to to listen to anything you have to say well let's hope and pray that they get a break that they need absolutely